In this video, we will show you how to set up and use your Action 4 for the first time. Open the Osmo Action 4 standard combo. Take out the accessories in the box. An Action 4 Extreme Battery. Curved Adhesive Base. Quick Release Adapter Mount. Locking Screw. Protective frame for switching between horizontal and vertical shooting. And a Type-C to Type-C PD cable for connecting the PD power adapter. In addition to the above accessories, the Adventure Combo includes an additional Osmo locking screw, an additional Osmo Action 4 adapter mount, mini, and a multifunctional battery case. The battery case already contains three batteries. The Adventure Combo also includes an Osmo 1.5 meter extension rod, which can meet your selfie shooting needs when skiing, snowboarding, and in a number of other scenarios. Press the release button on the battery compartment cover and slide to open the cover. Insert the micro SD card into the micro SD card slot. Insert the Action 4 Extreme battery. Close the battery compartment cover and make sure it is properly mounted without any gaps. Press the release button on the USB-C port cover and slide to open the cover. Use the Type-C to Type-C PD cable included to connect the adapter to charge Action 4. It is recommended to use the DJI 30W USB-C charger. You can also put the battery into the multifunctional battery case and use the Type-C to Type-C PD cable included to connect to the adapter for charging. Button Operations On the left side of Action 4, you can find the Quick Switch button. You can press and hold to power on Action 4. When the Action 4 is powered on, you can press and hold for one second to power off or short press to switch between different shooting modes. On the top of the camera body, you can find the shutter record button. You can short press to take a photo or start recording. Before activating Action 4, make sure that your mobile device has a normal network connection and download and install the DJI MIMO app. You can scan the QR code or search for DJI MIMO in major app stores. Launch DJI MIMO. Log into your DJI account. In the pop-up prompt at the top of the app, tap Connect. In the Device Connection page, tap Action 4 to connect. Check the device verification code and tap Accept. Tap Next, confirm your DJI account, and then tap Activate. Keep the mobile network unblocked and wait for the device to complete the communication with the server. A prompt asking you to join the Wi-Fi network will pop up. Tap Join. Now your Action 4 is connected with DJI MIMO. The activation prompt will appear next. Tap to complete and start shooting with your Action 4. If you have purchased or plan to purchase DJI Care Refresh, please finish the purchase and binding within 30 days of Action 4 activation. Firmware Update When a new firmware version is released, DJI MIMO will automatically prompt you to update the firmware. Launch DJI MIMO at the top of the app homepage, tap Download to download the firmware package. After successful download, the app will prompt that the device has new firmware to install. Tap the pop-up prompt to enter the firmware installation page. Tap Install, and the app will automatically update the device firmware. Do not power off Action 4 or disconnect it from your smartphone during the updating process. After a successful update, Action 4 will automatically restart. If the app prompts that the update has failed, Tap to restart and try again. Shooting mode and parameter settings. In the middle of the camera view, you can swipe left or right to set the shooting mode. You can switch between various shooting modes such as photo, video, slow motion, and more. In the camera view, wipe up to set the shooting parameters. In photo mode, you can set the aspect ratio and countdown time. In video mode, you can set the resolution, frame rate, stabilization mode, and loop duration. Parameter adjustments. On the right side of the camera view, tap the parameter adjustment icon. In this page, you can switch between four FOV modes. Narrow, Standard, Dwarf, Wide, 
and ultra-wide in video mode. You can tap the Pro icon to set and adjust more shooting parameters. In photo mode, you can set the exposure, white balance, FOV, and image format. In video mode, you can set the exposure, white balance, color mode, FOV, image adjustment, and low light image enhancement. You can also tap the audio settings icon to set the channel and wind noise reduction. Control menu introduction. In the camera view, swipe down from the edge to enter the control menu. You can tap the custom made icon to save the current configuration as a custom mode. After saving the custom mode, you can choose it among shooting modes. You can save up to five custom modes. You can tap delete to delete the corresponding custom mode. You can tap the quick switch icon to set the modes accessible by short pressing this quick switch button. You can tap sounds to enable or disable the prompt sound when switching. You can select screen switch, photo, video, slow motion, time lapse, hyperlapse, and playback for quick switch. And then switch quickly by short pressing the quick switch button. If you have set custom modes, you can also select them and switch via the quick switch button. You can tap the brightness icon and move the slider to adjust the screen brightness. You can tap the voice control icon to enable or disable the voice control function. You can tap the system settings icon to set snapshot, screen preview, voice control, OTG connection, and more. You can tap the orientation lock icon to switch between automatic orientation and locked orientation. You can tap the screen lock icon to lock the screen to prevent misoperation. To unlock the screen, swipe up on the touch screen. You can tap the full front screen icon to enable or disable full screen display on the front screen. The upper left corner of the camera view shows the remaining capacity of the inserted micro SD card. The upper right corner shows the remaining battery power. You can press and hold the zoom icon at the bottom right corner to set the zoom ratio. On the left side of the camera view, you can tap the playback icon to enter the playback page. You can swipe up and down to view the photos and videos you have captured. You can also tap the icon on the left or swipe right to mark the corresponding material as light or delete the file. Tap the volume icon on the upper right corner to enable or disable the video playback volume. You can press and hold the volume icon to bring up the volume adjustment bar and slide to adjust the playback volume. Tap the icon on the upper left corner to return to the material preview page. Connecting to DJI Mic. In, ad in addition to internal sound recording, Action 4 can connect to DJI Mic for sound recording. Open the USB-C port cover and remove it. Attach the receiver to the USB-C port of the camera using the USB-C adapter. If you need to install the USB-C port cover, push the waterproof block into the metal shaft on Action 4. Close and push the USB-C port cover until it is securely installed without gaps. Material Export Action 4 supports exporting materials via DJI MIMO. After Action 4 is connected to DJI MIMO, you can tap the playback button on the app's video transmission page to view the materials shot by Action 4. You can tap the download icon to download the materials to your mobile device. After downloading, you can view the downloaded materials in your mobile device album or in the downloads page of DJI MIMO. In addition, you can also export the materials by taking out the micro SD card or connecting it to a PC 